Ooh, yeah, nothing better than going heads up with 30 mils. Count me in. Oh, God, this is so dumb. Oh, my gosh. Can I, can I do a preempt bomb drop here? I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm done. I'll return to Hager. Return to Hager. I'm fucking done. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I never thought I could pull that off. Well, today's going to be a whole lot of fun. You guys have asked me to play the F3D-1. And I'm going to stop sugarcoating shit because I have a feeling today is going to really suck. <laughs> now, I've only played one game in the F3D and that was on the dev server. So I'm going to give it a second chance today. But just looking at the stats of this at 8.0 fully flipping upgraded. We top off at 846. Now these are just stat card performance, but it gives you an idea of what we're dealing with. This is a nine, this is a 7.0 fighter, 948. How is this thing seven? It's probably because it's acceleration isn't that good, but we won't jump into that rabbit hole today. Let's just go to a proper 8.0. So the F2 HIV, pretty much hundred kilometers an hour faster than our 8.0 F3D-1. So what's the point of the F3D at 8.0? I have no idea. Let's just go look at a ME262 real quick to see what we're kind of dealing with. A 7.0, Jesus, man, I don't know why. I don't, because it doesn't make sense that a plane that slow would be at 8.0. And now, granted, I haven't played it too much, so we're going to have to see how its turn and maneuverability is. I almost guarantee you it's not going to be that good because what this plane was designed to do in real life was an all-purpose night fighter. And the reason why the fuselage is so big is because it housed like a 1945-1950 era radar system that was massive. And that's why the fuselage is so big and the plane is so robust is because it would go up in any weather conditions to intercept enemy planes by radar and unfortunately radar has no premise in war thunder so as you can see there's no there's nothing right there there's nothing internally and all we have to kill things are these 420 millimeters which are welcomed but if you're catching my drift the whole point of the f3d was to use its night capabilities and its radar to navigate to a unidentified threat and then use its 420 mils to blast it to smithereens so a lot of the advantage are taken out just by the whole War Thunder game design, which is fine. But why is it BR 8.0? I have no idea. We're just going to have to get into the action, find out why this thing's at 8.0, or just label it over-tiered. Extremely over-tiered. I'm going to bet on the latter of the two. Well, guys, uh, here we go. Ooh, this means I can take off on the carrier. Well, uh, that's not fun. Okay, we do have bombs. I mean, I guess I'll try these out. I bet it's going to be so hard to take this thing off. Oh, we get an air spawn. Okay, all right, all right. I thought this thing was carrier. I wanted to take off. Maybe you can't do the carriers on Spain. Okay, so what we're going to do... God, this thing's loud. We're going to just going to head over. We are losing air speed at 10 degree climb. Let's go down to a 7-ish. Pipper's on a five. Okay, there we go. We're gaining some airspeed back. We're going to go drop these 4,000 pounds of bombs on something and then uh, go from there. Hmm. Yep. I mean, oh, there you go. 9.0. Yay. Good news. We're almost at our bombing point. We have no trailers. We're going to drop this, these 4,000 pounds of ordnance, take a left, go over the sea, and see if we can't clear anyone up. By the way, the cockpit is amazing in this thing. It's so cool looking. Level of detail is unreal. And plus, this scope is beautiful for being able to engage targets. Probably in sim more than RB, but still. Okay, here we go. A little bit of air brakes. Uh, 
And bombs away. Yes. Okay, taking a left. Okay, the speed is coming alive now that we've gotten rid of all that weight. I feel like I'm a prop fighter right now, just trying to catch everyone. Yes, it's looking right for me. Ah, oh, damn it. Not fast enough. Just, I'm just going to stall climb for this guy. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. This is the closest I've gotten to a jet all game. Don't get in front of me. Animus. Turn, you bus. Oh! Got him crit, boys! You never know unless you shoot. Let's see if we get that kill right there. I don't know. He is critical. No, I don't know. He's getting lower to the ground. I think he's just flying the ravine or the canal. No smoke or anything. We probably crit it like his freaking vodka holder. We'll go back in there. Damn, good turn rate. I'll tell you that right now. Nice. Good idea, Captain. This will be interesting. So we have an F-84 trying to gank a French SO-4050. This guy, I think, is mad at me from critting, critting him earlier. He's coming back in. Now, let's see how this thing can defensive fly. That's strange. We should, he should be a lot faster than us. Oh, man. Dun 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 ba 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 Oh, wrong button. Can't see where I'm shooting. Bombs out! I got a kill! I'm gonna make it home, guys! Don't worry! Huh. Mm, yep, yep, yep. There we go. Good, good, good. Looking good. Flaps out. Just nice. Oh, we can make it! We can make it! We can make it! In the game! God damn it! No! <laughs> Oh. Hmm. We got a kill. Number two in the team. Woo! Two 2,000 pound bombs, and we're going to use it in a defensive nature. Uh, usually, planes will have 1,000 pound bombs, maybe 500 pound bombs, but these are massive. So if someone's able to get on our six and we're able to kind of 
lure them down and to try to kill us. We can bring them down to the ground, drop these bombs, and it's a huge splash damage with these two 2000s. Ooh, we have a Vator. Oh, he's, he's, he's going crazy. Level out. Wait. There, wait. There's two. I mean, I can't really catch this guy. I mean, I can see what might happen here. Does he have the guns? Yeah, I think he has the guns. Oh, thank gosh. Oof. Yeah, the B does not. B is bomber. A is for asshole. Okay, I'm here, guys. <laughs> hmm, MiG-17 crash. Very nice. And as you can see, at 8.0, we get up-tiered a ton. A ton. A ton. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god, they're so much faster. I feel like I'm their little brother. I'm a little brother, Jet. Don't get close to me again, Peanut. I'm dropping bombs. Oh, there goes the last guy. Bombs out. Mission accomplished. Return back to base. <laughs> this thing's so stupid. But it's but it's, it's kind of fun, though. Like, you have, like, really no important duties to do in the game, but just bait and maybe get a kill. Oh, there's still one guy left. Okay, you know, we do have a duty here because if the AI start getting crazy, then they can start winning this game. Look how slow you guys are! I don't know why they would go for those planes. You get a ground spawn, you're so late to the battle. Why wouldn't they? Jeez, man. I have made the right decision in my plane for today. Okay, but uh, welcome back to Korea. We're going to be doing something different this game. Well, oh, okay. From the first game, I realized that this thing has a really, really strong airframe. We survived a ton of anti-air for a long time. Well, at least enough time for us to get the final shots on that Vator. So we're going to be adopting a head-on doctrine with this f3d we're going to keep the bond the bomb drop doctrine but we will get rid of these bombs in case if we do get into a fray but if we get one or two guys on our tail um early yeah Ooh, yeah nothing better than going heads up with 30 mils count me in oh god this is so dumb oh my gosh can i, can I do a preempt bomb drop here I'm gonna do it. Oh! <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'll oh, return to hangar. Return to hangar. I'm fucking done. <laughs> oh my gosh. I never thought I could pull that off. F3D 1 Sky Knight. This thing does, this thing's horrible for 8.0. Literally the worst 8.0 jet in the game. And we're just gonna go through them real quick, just so we don't kind of eat our words. Okay. 8.0, that's a good 8.0 jet. That's a really good 8.0 jet. Okay, 8.0, 6.7. That is so nice, that 162. Then I think you used like a 7.0. Okay, 8.0, very nice 8.0. Hmm, very nice 8.0, very nice 8.0, okay. Okay. Very nice 8.0. Okay. Very nice 8.0. Okay. Very nice 8.0. Very nice 8.0. Very... I don't know about these guys too much. Oh, look at this BR increase to 8 or 9.0. So yeah, I'm going to say the worst 8.0 jet in the game, but you can pull off uh, memes with it, which is always welcomed. Again, guys, hope you have enjoyed. I do not recommend this jet whatsoever until the BR has been reduced. Even at 7.0, it's going to struggle, but at least there it can uh, maybe hold its own. Again, guys, hope you have enjoyed. Have a great day. Peace out.